28th of January 2010. This is a powder pump test for Evance wings. Right, the setup is that we have powder as supplied by potential um, user. Yeah, small sample there in the bucket. And we've also got here a Yamada two inch specialist powder pump. Now, the speciality is on this one is that rather than just having the um, suction aeration point, which is just there, see that? It also has pressurized um, aeration points on all of the ball valves here, here, uh, here, and there. Now the point is, they shouldn't really be needed with such a light powder as this, but um, belts and braces, we can always add pressurized aeration to the powder. Now what I mean by that is basically powder um, to be pumped needs to be treated like a fluid basically. It needs to be needs to perform like a fluid. So we aerate the powder and, and then it can go through a pump such as this. Um, all going well. Now all the um, technical stuff has been done up front. We think this powder should pump so proof being the pudding about to fire this one up and what we've got is Daniel here. Hello Daniel. Daniel's holding what we've got is a, a mock-up suction lance. Now, the lance is literally just a piece of uh, pipe uh, available just about anywhere. Um, point is, we don't ram said pipe into this powder, um, or you get slugs which go up the pump, end up in the liquid chamber um, here, and um, they can damage the pump actually, bend the shaft. But we don't want that, so we keep it nice and aerated, nice and fluid. Um, another a helping hand is this uh, one-way valve, non-return valve on, on said lance. Um, if, if a slug does present itself, that should um, allow some air in much the same as the same um, vacuum aeration on the suction point on the pump. Anyway, we'll fire it up and see where we go. This is the quick bit. You soon know if it's going to pump powder or not. So I'll just go and uh, turn on the air, which is at this point here. Um, we're running the air at 6 bar, um, just under 100 psi. Um, slowly start the pump up. You can now hear the pump essentially running dry. Now, the pump really shouldn't change tone as this, so um, that's the dry running pump. The exhaust must be there, but you can hear it stroking away, um, empty. That doesn't damage the pump at all. Perfectly uh, acceptable to run any diaphragm pump dry any products in. Um, it will pump faster MC, so it will wear out the diaphragms a bit quicker, but it's no damage as such um, to that. So now what we do is, um, following the route of the powder, it will be from source, um, through said lance, up the suction line to the bottom of the pump, which is this point here. It then goes up either side, that's the one side I'm following, to the discharge point right there, and then with discharge lance, discharge line, sorry, going to at this moment in time, an empty um, pump box. So if I now ask Daniel to present the lance to the powder, we'll get initial effects of um, what's going to happen here. So I just show, it, show the powder to the, to the lance. Now a bit more than that. A bit more. You can actually see straight away that the powder is being drawn. It's difficult to see with the background, but you can see the powder being drawn. In essence, it's all about now whether it is finding its way to destination. You go a bit more aggressive than anyone, then it's kind of very, very light. It's um, not taking at all. So it's, it's actually drawing the powder, as you can see, away. Can you see that? I want to show it's very, very white. I'm trying to draw the shows. Yeah, you can see that it's just drawing it away now. It's starting to disappear. Um, I'm just going to film the lines. Excuse me, Daniel. As you see, the clear lines that we use are very, very white. Um, the product is essentially, I can't show you this, is pouring through the line. It is really, really moving. Um, I can quite safely say that, as you can see at the box, the point of discharge, this powder is very, very pumpable. Um, conclusion, successful test. I shall leave it there.